Now I gotta give a big shout out to the homie Just Jam. I'm gonna do this next part for him because he was trying to, you know, I was trying to explain to him about crossovers and how they work, and a lot of people really don't get it. Um, so I'm gonna try to do, do this as easy as possible, like in the most basic terms. A crossover is basically um, a mixing point. You can almost think about it as, as like a, a mixer. The crossovers have curves and they also have a mixing point. So basically you could say your highs and your lows. But um, in terms of how it would be on speakers, say for example you got a, uh, an equalizer. Um, sub bass notes usually happen around like 80 and below. So all of this would be your sub and um, then your mids and then your highs. Um, and what you want to try to do with a crossover is get them at a point where the tops are doing that amount of work and the sub is doing that amount of work. Now if you mix it wrong you're gonna have this whole middle where it's just the sub is producing all of this and the tops is producing all of that and then the middle is just muddy and then you don't want that. You want to have it cut off at a certain point wherever that is on that scale where the sub is doing that work and the top is doing that work. So with these ETX they actually have you know these settings where you know you can go from uh, um, 80 all the way up to like 150 so these actually produce a, a decent amount of mid bass um, these speakers up here go all the way down to 55 basically and all the way up the spectrum but here's where it gets funky you don't want to really mix them in a certain way where again where the middle is just you got this one doing a lot of work and that one doing a lot of mid work and you're just gonna get a muddy mix your vocals are gonna sound awful so what you wanna do is set the crossover in a way again where the sub is doing the sub work and the top is doing the top work so on the back of these you have a setting of 80 you have a setting of 100, 120, 150 so however you're gonna set these you want that to be doing the other side. So if you got these up to like 150, you want those to be doing 150 up. So the sub will be 100, 150 below and the top will be 150 above. So that's kind of like a, an easy way to think about it, how you would set them. Um, it's up to you. You know how you want to set them. I like 80 and 80, you know, and that's fine. I mean, you can bring this up to 100 and get a little bit more vocals out of the sub. It's not that you want to do that. I personally don't recommend that. I like the sub to do sub work, and I like the top to do the mids and the highs. That's what they're meant to do. Also, if you cross them over right, you won't be overworking the uh, tops as much because if you just let them loose, you're just gonna have all that extra mid and, 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 and um, bass notes coming out of that, and it'll just overwork your speaker that's what the sub is for. Um, if you have any questions let me know but that's kind of the basic gist of it. Again the crossover is a certain thing where it's basically like a like a mixer. You're crossing over that point whether you want it here or here or here you know but personally I like the sub to do sub work and I like the top to do the mids and the highs. So hopefully that kind of you know gives you a better understanding of how crossovers work. <laughs> Thank you.